Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, depending on where you're, you are in the world. Uh, I'm Martin Stepanek, and I'm coming to you from Glutathione Fans with the beginning of an interview series in relation to one of the most important topics in human health and performance. The information we share at Glutathione Fans is important for everyone, but if you're a person who works or plays in extreme environments, you're going to want to pay close attention. Today, I have a special guest with me, live and in person. Let me introduce Marlene Smith. Mar is a professional diver, a uh, former dive instructor with an important experience to share with everyone. Welcome to the call, Mar. Thank you very much, and I'm thrilled to be here. So, Mar, I understand you're a professional dive instructor, and I assume that you have, that means you've got a lot of dives under your belt. Yes, I've been diving 35 years, and uh, I, I was actually to the point of instructor trainer for a few agencies. So basically, over 2,500 dives, couldn't get wow. enough of it. That's a lot of dives. Is, is that common for divers? Um, no. Uh, you know, if you're not getting into leadership, you're not going that crazy. Your average diver probably maybe 5% of the divers would dive maybe 20 dives a year. And then if you're local divers, like our Canadian hardy ones, they do maybe 50. So that's kind of... You see, so you say you're an instructor trainer, so you actually train the trainers. Yes, uh, I instruct the trainers to the highest levels of safety. Um, and when I taught to students, I didn't hand out a card unless I was really proud of them. So it meant a lot to me to do it right. Wow, that's an interesting perspective. It must take a lot of dedication to reach that level. Uh, I spent hundreds of hours between underwater and training, uh, reaching the level, and I loved every minute of it. It was a great sport. Yeah, it's something that's actually that um, my wife and I want to get into a little more in our in our retirement years. We've done some scuba diving, but we've never done scuba diving. So that uh, we've done it from the plane, but we've never done it under the water. So that's going to be an interesting thing. Uh, so you experienced a very traumatic or had a very traumatic experience when you were diving. What exactly happened? Yes, I actually spent uh, four months in a hospital due to an abnormal bend hit. Ooh. So what So what do you mean by an abnormal bend hit? Okay, so a bend hit or a decompression injury normally occurs when a diver comes up either too fast, stays too long, or if a diver has a reason, you know, underlying problems, but, you know, the protocol that was done right. An abnormal hit occurs when unexpected uh, regardless of doing everything right. And in my case, I had an underlying health issue that triggered a, a DCS, decompression hit. Ah. So um, how did that happen then? Like what well, caused it? I, I was post chemo uh, from cancer and I had ended up with a B12 deficiency because of that. Uh, I didn't display any usual B12 deficiency signs and symptoms, I had no idea I had any problems. And so that can actually trigger uh, a, a bend hit. That's interesting. So so then even as a seasoned pro diver, this wasn't anything you could prepare for um, in any way, correct? Well, yes and no, because we're very much wiser now. Uh, but at the time, I did everything right. My hit happened with me following the rules to a T. I had a bunch of us. We are all good condition for the dive. We were route rusted. We were diving nitrox. There should have been no real good reason to take a hit. Um, and it was a very easy and fun dive. Um, I wished I'd have known, you know, what uh, chemo and, and uh, B12 deficiency could have brought me at that time. And it did. Oof. That's, you know, that's a little scary. A person um, could unknowingly have a deficiency like you and and uh, it could actually lead to paralysis like you were talking about or even have uh, you know, death. Um, that's interesting because a lot of different amateur and pro athlete groups that I work with or have worked with in the past, you know, they have nutritionists and they have therapists and even doctors and um, as part of their team. So... Mm -hmm. 
they do their blood work and uh, not only to make sure that it's clean, but from a nutritional standpoint, they want to optimize their health for better performance, prevention of in just, uh, injury, and um, for their recovery, right? So, so did, did divers not get checked out that way? or? Um, well, yes, we all get a medical when we all get certified initially. But, you know, up to that, it's us, you know, completely up to ourselves to keep ourselves up. And uh, in this situation, it woke me up. Uh, and, you know, clearly I search for better options and concerning my health from then on. Yes, it's interesting you said woke you up because I was about to say it's kind of a wake up call then that uh, the divers should probably take more uh, avid attention towards their their health and, and uh, regular physical checkups, et cetera, just to make sure something like this isn't an issue, maybe including, you know, blood work type thing, right? So mm -hmm. let's let's mm -hmm. talk a little bit about the challenges that you faced from the time you were in the hospital and then going back home again. What was the prognosis that the doctors left you with? Was it a temporary or a long-term prognosis? Mm -hmm. Well, for me, uh, in my head, I just started with, well, what do I need to do? But that's me. Now, you know, to to think back of what my kids heard that day in the hospital, that I might not walk again, uh, there were no words to describe the feeling that we were going through or what the kids were feeling through, especially I was just post-cancer. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. Um, now, you had a bit of a turnaround, correct? How did that actually come about? Uh, well, honestly, uh, the right people showing up at the right time in my life and introducing me to glutathione the pre precursors. Um, this was cutting edge technology to, uh, supplements that, you know, for me, it was the right time in the right place. Do you um, want to name these friends and tell us about your experience with glutathione? Yeah, so uh, my dive buddy, uh, her name is Sheila Bender, and she introduced me to a June. And uh, for the, that was all just a few pre months before my actual injury. And June introduced us to the precursor products. June then demonstrated uh, how you know important it was to rebuild our and sustain our immune system in order to fight back whatever you're fighting in your health. Um, so, uh, in using the precursors for a few weeks uh, post chemo, the treatment, um, I did feel my immune system and my energy was starting to change, and I was definitely healing quickly um while i was in the hospital um the doctors even said it was okay to use these products so these supplements it was fantastic um, That's cool. yeah so and and um your injury though left you when you came out of the hospital um in a state where you you couldn't really work anymore correct yeah, um, but at this point, you're right, my diving uh, was over and my hairdressing for all those years standing behind a chair, that was temporarily over. So, you know, I had to come up with a new source of income because all was lost and I'm laid up and bills wow. continue. <laughs> so how did you survive and turn things around then? Well, um, I was determined that in my new normal, uh, I was going to not be this way forever and I was going to improve. Um, rather, you know, continually becoming healthier and stronger. And thankfully, with the support of some great friends, um, it was just get in, get going. And it made mm -hmm. a difference. So I assume that you uh, continued taking the glutathione precursors throughout your recovery. It wasn't something that you did once and then and then walked away from. Yeah. Oh, yes. I continued and, you know, I continued having very good progress. Uh, and I really don't think that I would be as good as I am today without me throwing myself into it. It was great. And at that time, uh, there were three products we were using, but it got, you know, it got expensive. So you had another sort of breakthrough then in your recovery uh, more recently. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, around two years ago, then uh, June introduces to the more 
nanotechnology of glutathione and how it works. So there are oral and then there is also topical products that we can use. Um, the first experience with the nano technology with glutathione is definitely for me it was a clearer mind and you know i started having more kick in my energy i really could feel it more recently i just noticed that my mobility like it goes in spurts but i've been starting to use it topically as well because i'm still you know having skin burns and such it's making a better difference so yeah Better so, so then, that, that's quite cool. So what would you say then is the bottom line for you, you know, moving when you moved into the nano supplements, what was the, the major difference? Well, um, you know, in terms of my health, uh, it's been a huge difference because I'm back cutting hair. Um, so, you know, less, less problems with the income, obviously, but uh, it's, it's just a, a better feeling that everything is repairing. The products are less expensive and I get more efficiency out of them. So I'm very happy with that. So frankly, you know, uh, it's a lot easier to take it rather than in some cases choking on a pill. Well, thanks. That's uh, We really appreciate you sharing that with us, Marlene, and, and appreciate you being here with us and looking forward to uh, we, we look forward to seeing your, your continued recovery and uh, more stories as, as you see those milestones. Folks, I'd like to encourage you to reach out to the person who directed you to this interview with uh, Marlene to find out more about glutathione and how it is critical to your health, both in prevention and in recovery, um, and what glutathione supplements are, are best to take, what, which ones are most effective. Remember, there's an old adage, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Well, in terms of glutathione, you might just say that that ounce is worth a ton of cure. Uh, we appreciate your time with us here tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to unmute this thing so that if you have any questions, Mar uh, Marlene could answer them for you.